Hey guys, all right, sorry about that. Just wanted to break that video up. It was getting a little bit long. Um, okay, so we have that EXIF dictionary. So if you remember, we know that GPS info is somewhere in that EXIF dictionary. So what we're going to do now is access that particular portion of the dictionary or that key. So, and also you'll notice it's a dictionary within a dictionary. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop through all of these keys in this GPS info key or GPS info dictionary I should say. So to do that we can say something like for key in EXIF and then so in the EXIF dictionary what do we want to access? We want to access the GPS info key and what do we want to do? We want to get all the keys from there. So what we're looping through here is all these keys. So one, two, so skip, these are the values here of two. Then there's a three with a value W, four. So we're looping through all these keys here. So for key in keys, now what we're gonna do is let's just print that, print key, and let's just see what it, see what it says. We're getting closer, guys. Getting close to this GPS information. Okay, and you'll notice actually we're getting an error here. And this happened to me earlier, and it took me a while to figure out what was going on. And it's just because some of my images in this directory don't have um, this GPS info. So remember how I said, actually forget if I said it, but not every image in here was geotagged. And I did that on purpose. Um, but I know this one, for example, is not. So when we're trying to say, give me the GPS info for this one, it's not working. So we're going to do a try statement here and just try to access the GPS info. And if that works, great. Um, if not, accept, we'll just pass for now. Or we can print this image has no GPS info in it. Okay. And you know what? We can also print, let's print the full path just so we can see it working. trying to find one that didn't. Here we go. Uh, here we go. Okay. So this image has no GPS info in it. So if we go look for 0112 in here, 0112, uh, where is it? 0112, this one shouldn't have any GPS data. Okay. Yeah, there isn't any. So that's what that's doing right there. Um, so this is a good little block to put in your code just to prevent that from happening. But um, okay, now that we got those keys there, um, sort of similar to how earlier how it was just like a coded number value, this doesn't really mean anything. So if we look at the one value here, we're looking for like what the actual name or value of that is. And this is something that is sort of similar to EXIF tags. It's called... Um, GPS tags. So what we can do is make a variable called decoded value and set it equal to exif tags dot GPS tags dot get and we're just going to get the key. So we're going to get like for example get 31 or get 1. So why don't we just print we can say this is the code value and we'll just add in key and then we can say print this is its associated uh, label or label slash name dot format decoded value I think I'm missing a parenthesis alright 
So let's run that and just see what this tells us. Okay, cool. So now we know value 31 corresponds to something called GPS positioning error. GPS speed, GPS altitude. So all this stuff has data associated. So if we look at this EXIF thing, let's get one to look at, for example. Um, 29 should be the GPS date stamp. So if we go all the way here, it's kind of hard to see, to 29. There it is. That's the GPS date stamp. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build another dictionary and call it GPS all and just set it equal to nothing right now. And we're going to basically append things to it. And we're going to say GPS all and we're going to put in the decoded value. So we're gonna that's gonna be the key of our new dictionary. So the key is gonna be GPS date stamp, GPS positioning error, etc. So right here we're adding this key to that dictionary. And then we're going to add the actual value of of it from the EXIF data. So we can say EXIF GPS info and then we're going to get the key value from that. So key. Um, so first, why don't we just print this? And this is just going to give us a bunch of values. That should correspond to what's in that text file. So right here we should have all the info that we're looking for. So this is the coded value, 31. This is its associated label slash name, GPS positioning error. And I should have said this is the actual value um, of it. So, so uh, where's that time one? So here we go. That's everything. So that's the code value, the name associated with it, and then the value. Okay, so what we're doing in this line is just building a new dictionary with just these two pieces of information. All right, that's cool. So now what we can do is, since we've looped through everything in, th so this is all just for one particular image, right? This GPS info, we've looped through every single key and every single key value in there. Now what we wanna do, is access that data. So you'll notice I backed out of that for loop because that's a for loop of all the GPS info. We want to back out a little bit and just say GPS um, GPS all dot get and we're going to get something called GPS longitude ref and we're going to set this equal to longitude ref and we'll do the same thing for latitude ref gps dot get gps latitude latitude ref and let's just print those print long ref print lat ref and this is going to print the that long references for each image. So we got, we got a bunch of Northwest. Let's get rid of these. Okay. Sorry, let's run this again. But you'll notice if we look for that GPS longitude Oh no, actually, that's what came from that coded value. So, you know, that's key. There's a lot of like little like magic things going on. Not magic things, but it's coming from this library, which is sort of behind the scenes to us. Um, so there you go. You see we have all that stuff. Um, all right, so let's just get the latitude and longitude next. 
long longitude, longitude equals GPS all dot get and this is GPS longitude lat equals GPS all dot get GPS latitude print long then we'll print the lat Oh wait, did I? That's right. Okay, cool. Um, so we have some information here, but it's not exactly the format we want. We need this in decimal degrees, and this is not in decimal degrees. But um, if we copy this, it should be somewhere in this file right there. So now we have those, that's the coordinate information. We just have to figure out how we can convert that to something that we, we can work with in, um, in ArcGIS. So this video is getting long again, so I'm going to cut it off and uh, we will continue in the next video with converting that value to decimal degrees. And then I promise guys, we're almost ready to, to build the shape file. Uh, thanks for sticking with me.